last but not least, our presentation is Mutations in Plants. The group is conformed by Daniel Stan, Valeria Garcia, and Miss Lisa. Should we turn off the light? No. Miss? No, I'm sorry. I need to write, you need to write. We're not going to turn off the light. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, then can we continue? Okay, first, Miss. Sorry. <laughs> okay, um, we're going to start. Uh, can I make a, a little perception when you talk alone when you're talking with your friends or whatever you can say go now okay please but when you are presenting an official thing or something it, it's like English in the streets when you say go now okay going say to. going to uh -huh. it's a um, more academic uh -huh. okay everybody I do it also but when you're presenting you have to Talk in a different way. Okay. Uh, we search where are mutations, and we, uh, like we found that mutation is a change in DNA in which a normal working gene can uh, can change into a non-working gene. Um, they, they said that mutations can be produced or, or can be passed by itself. Uh, not all mutations can make a gene non-working, no. like them. The general information that we found was that okay, like a mutation can change a, non, a normal working gene to become a non-working gene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jorge, don't move your feet because you move the tape, okay? Yes, you do. <laughs> Who's going to talk? Me. But I, all of them? Yes. I Please. thought you wanted me to pass it this little bit. Okay, um, we found plant mutations that were uh, first divided by two groups, natural and artificial. First, we want to explain the natural mutations. Um, we found that some biologists like uh, thought that all plants are a mutation. The reason why they say that all plants are a mutation is because um, they say that one plant comes from the one from a one that already existed, so that it meant that a plant was a mutation from the, the from the old plant. <laughs> so what that means is that is mutation has been a result of evolution. Of evolution. Uh huh. Okay. But, yeah, I know <laughs> you're going to. <laughs> yes. For example, wait, I'm going to place an example. Going to. Mutation has been a result of evolution. Pay attention. Yes, you say na uh, natural mutation in plants. Read it all. Mutation is a process of evolution. Yes. You don't have to write everything. Okay. For example, in the past, in the planet, we just have uh, plants without flowers, like for example, ferns, pines, etc. Uh, in the case of pines, we, uh, they were gymnosperms. They were they uh, they were uh, they had this name because gymnosperms are the plants that don't have flowers and they reproduce and, and they produce seeds. That is how they reproduce. The ferns don't enter in these groups because the ferns are uh, reproduced by pores that they have in the other part of their leaf. Um, they say that when time passed by, the angiosperms were created, and the angiosperms are the plants that do have flowers, and the flower is the reproductive uh, part of the plant. So we put this example because they are trying to say that the angiosperms are like a mutation of the gymnosperms because they were created after, and they, they had like a, a different um, aspect that is the one, not the flower. Do you know where from, from where did the plants come? No. Group? You don't have to know it, so don't get nervous. Do you know where did life come from? Yeah, from the boat. first. A boat. Yes. Yeah, there, there was like there were first a lot of day. proteins in the like in the water, and they like all got trapped in a bubble. So they they like they, 
did. They okay. became a single cell. So. Which? What is the name of that single cell? Or you Second cut. No, no, but more. That which was the name of the organism that released oxygen into the atmosphere? No, <laughs> The first organism that started, that's the most easiest answer, we don't know. The first organism that first started to release oxygen into the atmosphere and that's why living things could start to organize themselves. Blue greenish algae. You know it. La Iga Azul Verdosa. Blue greenish algae. Have you heard of it? Yes. So they're saying, I am naming it because they're saying by different types of mutation that that plant had, come all the other plants and they do what Cindy was telling me. Leo. So did you understand the example that we gave? Like the, the connection that they have as a mutation? Yes or no? Yes. So an example of a natural mutation would be the genus. Evolution of plants. Ah, the angels. Or plants. They're saying that gymnosperms like ferns are no, the ferns are not gymnosperms. Excuse me. Gymnosperms as pines develop slowly in order to be angiosperms. Is it clear? <laughs> so normal plant that has flowers are mutated. They're not mutation. They are here because of mutation. Okay. It's for example in human beings the same thing. Yeah. Human beings, the first human beings are not the fir the human beings that we know now, and that is caused the because there have the been monster. different adaptations caused by different mutation in order for us to have an evolution process. Is it clear? Yes. Can you stop bothering?